My first year in college was in Brooklyn College. Yeah, I've heard you know, Brooklyn College. <laughs> you know what tuition was when I was 20? What's that? Zero. Zero. How's that? This is not only existing in other countries, it used to exist in the United States of America. We're moving, unfortunately, in the wrong direction. And here we are in our finding ourselves in a place where persons don't want to fully support this Build Back Better plan when we know that it will help essential workers and the uninsured and elderly people and women and students and children and home health care workers and the very climate of the earth itself. These programs in Build Back Better will cut costs for families. It raises wages and benefits, and it improves every community in every zip code. Build Back Better would allow us to unlock money and investments to clean up polluted sites in black and brown and poor and tribal communities and replace lead pipes so the bodies of our children will no longer be poisoned. It's not crazy and it's not a pipe dream. And some of what we, you and I, Bernie, have had a front seat at is just the intense presence of corporate lobbyists throughout the process of reconciliation in drafting the Build Back Better Act. We have allowed the corporations to buy Washington, D.C. for too long. We are talking about the pharmaceutical industry alone. One industry spending $300 million. These are not politically moderate positions. They are politically mean positions. Build Back Better is a once-in-a-generation opportunity. This bill is about the trajectory of the country for the next 20 years, not just right now.